Hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about another play to earn game that is launching soon. Their prototype is live on their site now, and the alpha game release is planned for later this year. This game is Solantasy. Solantasy is a 2D play to earn RPG built on the Solana blockchain. In Solantasy, you can use your heroes to explore a 2D fantasy world and try to defeat the evil Shadowlands army. You will also have the chance to fight other players as the game develops, showing off your skill and equipment. All of this while having the chance to earn rewards. My first impressions of the game are good. I love the graphics they used because as you may already know by now, I am a sucker for pixel art. It is also a perfect fit for the game genre they are in, so that's a win-win. The gameplay feels like a 2D platformer but with RPG elements, like equipment, abilities, and more. Let's see what Solantasy has to offer. To get started with the game, you don't really have to buy anything. Yes, the game will have a free-to-play option for people who don't want to buy NFTs to use. This is good for mass adoption since players can try the game first before investing anything in it. But like with other crypto games that are free-to-play, Owning their actual NFTs will have some benefits. If you play the game using a Solantasy NFT, the attributes and equipment the NFT have will reflect in the game, giving you an immediate advantage. These NFTs will also act as the save data for your game, which means when you sell it, the game state it was in is also transferred. This can further boost the value of your NFT. But again, if you don't want to buy an NFT, you can still play the game you will be provided a character with base attributes and equipment. The NFTs for Solantasy were launched in three waves, each wave a different collection. The three NFT collections are the Sol Warriors, the Sol Wizards, and the Sol Archers. The collection your hero belongs to will also decide how it plays in the game. If you are familiar with other RPGs, then you should have an idea about how they perform. But for those of you who aren't, I'll give a quick run-by. Sol Warriors are the melee heroes, which rely on a sword to deal damage. They will typically be tankier and deal moderate damage. Sol Wizards are the spellcasters that can use various abilities to deal AoE damage. Oftentimes, they are glass cannons, meaning they have high damage at the expense of being fragile. And Sol Archers are the archer class in the game, that use bow and arrow. They usually have the longest range and deal high single target damage. So if you plan on buying any of their NFTs, keep these classes in mind so you can pick one that better suits your playstyle. They all look cool in my opinion, but that's just me, because you know how I am with pixel art. If you're liking this character design so far, you can check out their website and light paper to learn more. If you want to get Solantasy NFTs of your own, they are all available on secondary marketplaces like Magic Eden. As of this recording, the floor price for any of the three collections won't go above 0.5 sol. We made this video so you can have an overview of the project and maybe help you decide if you want to invest in it or not. But remember, whenever it involves real money, please do your own research and be diligent enough. If you want to stay updated about other upcoming crypto game launches, you can join our Discord over at Survivors, where we have a daily newsletter that keeps our members up to date about everything play to earn. Now let's get to the gameplay. The game plans on having two modes, PvE and PvP. The PvE mode is the main mode of the game, where you can use your Solantasy heroes to explore dungeons and fight mobs of enemies. As you kill more mobs, the heroes you use also gain experience points. You can then use these experience points to unlock new skills or improve ones you already have. There will also be mini bosses and world bosses inside dungeons, which if defeated will give you more rewards. You can explore in dungeons by yourself or you can also team up with friends which can allow you to fight in higher difficulties. The PvP mode will allow you to fight against other players, which is good for people who want a bit more challenge. There's not much info released about this mode yet, so I'll keep myself updated. The skill system in the game looks pretty robust, with multiple skill trees possible per character. Each branch on the skill tree also has multiple levels to it, and there are further progressions per branch that I assume will unlock even better skills. 
The system is pretty cool and kinda reminds me of the skill tree in Skyrim. The gameplay looks pretty smooth, and considering this is just their prototype, a really big green flag for me. I'm more excited to see what more they can do with the main launch this year. If you want to try the prototype for yourself, you will have to buy at least one NFT first. This will give early supporters a chance to try out the game already. Now let's get to the tokenomics. The game has one token, the Solonite token. It is the main token of the game with a limited supply of 1 billion. You can earn Solonite by defeating certain enemies in game and in dungeons, by joining PvP tournaments, and by winning PvP battles. You can use Solonite for various in game interactions like upgrading items and to buy and sell items on the Solanda Sea marketplace. This game uses a single token system, which isn't bad but also not the best. I think a two token system would be better to help the economy flow, since you can have different use cases and earning mechanisms for each token. But let's see how the devs go about it. This is just a draft proposal as of this recording, so this could still change in the future. Speaking of the devs, the team behind this game is not doxxed as of the moment. They do have links to their Twitter accounts on the website, but that's not really a good way to check someone's credentials. There is one member of the team, Leonard the Game Engineer, who had a link on his Twitter profile. It led to the website of PostPhysical, a Ukrainian game development studio. This could mean that Leonard also works for this company, but it is not explicitly stated. An anonymous team doesn't always mean it's a rug or a bad project, but investors and players tend to be more trusting if the team is doxxed. Who knows, they might do in the future, but for now, think of it what you will. Overall, the game looks promising. I love the graphics they went with, and it does fit with the genre of the game. This is only their prototype, but it already looks pretty smooth. I'm looking forward to what more they can add to the game in terms of depth, like maybe an expanded skill tree or secondary jobs progressions. This will definitely add more layers to the gameplay and more content. The team isn't docs, but I've been following this project for a while and they have been continuously building in the background, so that's a green flag for me. They also sold out all their NFT collections so far, and only a few are listed compared to the total supply. So that says a lot about how much the community believes in the project. Let's see if they can pull it off. Again, if you want to buy Solantasy NFTs of your own, you can check the secondary marketplaces like Magic Eden. And if you do buy one, you can try out their game prototype live on their site now. What do you think about Solantasy? Are you thinking of getting some NFTs of your own? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to talk more about other crypto games we're playing right now, you can join our Discord over at Survivors, where we have friendly people all willing to share their experiences. That's it for today, see you next video!